Okay, just to show you um, the process of development again. Um, so this is something I've been working on uh, recently. These are sketches that I've been doing uh, whilst on walks of some of the walls here in Wales. Um, dry stone walling, okay. Um, so I've been trying to pick up the shapes, a bit of tone, a bit of shadow on the stones there as well. You've got contrast from the dark areas of shadows cast where the stones are placed. You've got some obviously some tonal studies, so you've got the, also the hills as well in the background, trees. So quick sketches whilst on walks. This is much more of a longer landscape. So you've got the hills as well in the background, okay? And in the foreground, I'm sort of focusing on the wall. I'm quite interested in the sort of higgledy-piggledy nature of it, as well as some areas where the structure is kind of where it's been placed in a regular pattern. Um, but mostly I'm interested in the contrast between the light and dark. Um, Again, this one is um, focusing on the wall, but I've just mo mainly focused on the shapes and the shadow cast, so you get a high contrast, um, positive and negative areas. Okay, From that, then, I've started to develop some initial ideas. This one here is uh, dividing the canvas up with this kind of arch sort of shape here. Uh, on this side, I've focused on a little bit like that drawing there. I've focused on creating a high contrast between light and dark. Okay, on here, in the positive areas where the shapes are, the stones are, I've started to put in a little bit of tone. So I'm sort of bringing the two things that I focus on a little bit together in my earlier sketches. This piece here, I'm more interested in the composition and the diagonal, so it's split across that way, as opposed to this one where you've got that arc that split it, but it's still split. Um, again, it's focusing on tone, shading, um, and a little bit of kind of dark areas picking up. So a little bit more subtle and less broken up than this one in terms of light and dark on that side. I then started to play around with some um, mark making techniques, color, shape, form. And this one mostly focuses on, on cross hatching, looking at using a little bit of blue and grays within the composition to pick up some of the blues and grays from the stone. Um, and also the browns as well, so some of the moss that's growing on there, some of the vegetation that was on, on some of the um, the stones on the walks and trying to pick up the natural colours as well. So picking up shapes, blocking them out, okay, this one here, it's slightly less, um, not slightly lighter, sort of more blue, balanced than the blue on either side, there's more hatching in this one. Um, and just trying things out really, seeing what it looks like, um, adding a little bit of light to the area, reducing it down again, okay? So another initial idea is to try and reduce that down in terms of the shapes so they become much more simplified, okay? Still carrying on with the mark making. Uh, you can see that the mark making has been applied, it's a little bit quicker, a little bit more energetic in parts, okay? This one, it's simplified again. The mark making is reduced down to sort of blocks. You can still see parts of it, a little bit of light coming through there with the cross hatching, um, but it's reducing those shapes again, seeing what it looks like, initial idea, okay. This one I focused on using a little bit of brown paper to a contrast, to give a bit of texture as well. You've got to use what's available to you, okay. If you don't have that, that's fine. Try something else, newspapers, whatever, okay, tin foil. Um, Again, cross-hatching, positive and negative, black and white, greys, mainly focused on browns here, so some of the natural colours. I sort of flip this around then, I reduce the size of the canvas, so you've got much more, a, or the picture plane, you've got much more of a, a landscape shape on this one. On this one I've made more of a square shape, okay. You can say, see there that I've flipped it so I'm going more uh, portrait with this one, okay, and then obviously, you know, if that was the wall, then these would be that way around, and we'd be looking at it like that, but I've flipped it around, I want to see what it looks like as an initial idea. Okay, so I've just got drawn lines, a bit of cardboard to give a quick sort of illustration of that. I then went back to the earlier one a little bit, and I've tried another initial idea of, of the shapes, the cold colours, so I've focused on these three here in the middle, so we're just drawn into that as an initial idea. And around that we've got the dark and the greys, but the focus and the colour will be here, okay? Uh, this one here, again, looking at it being portrait, um, I've opened up the amount of space that's there, 
um, continue with it being black. We've got greys, we've got this, the walls, the shapes from the walls, okay? I'm trying to keep those, but I've opened the space up between, so they're floating a little bit more, seeing what that looks like. This one, I'm trying to still use some of the black in this one, but I've started to add the paper as well and some of the um, natural colours and the blues from the stone as well. So I'm starting to bring it all together a little bit, see what that looks like. Again, I've flipped it around, so this is landscape now. So what I've then decided to do is look at some of the rounded shapes and simplify them and looking at mo mostly the kind of areas of darkness in here, still picking up some of the lines from the stones as well. And I've added a little bit of paint on there. I've got a little bit of emulsion paint out of the garage. And the pencils that I've got work well with the water, so they're kind of watercolor pencils. So I'm starting to bring those cold and natural colors together, um, leaving in some of the pencil lines that are drawn on there as well. Uh, underneath so it builds up the layers this one here I've started to look at the sort of the the top of this illustration here I'm quite interested in that as a line to follow on the top here but what I've done is I've flipped it around so that it's on its side I'm looking at the wrong way here okay and I'm interested in this particular edge here this line and this shape here this is to do with the hills, okay? So these shapes have come from the hills um, in a previous drawing. So that's another idea I've used. I've used watercolor pencils and a bit of emulsion paint so that the water in the emulsion has lifted up the color and mixed in a little bit with the emulsion paint. Probably got that in the shed. It doesn't have to be white. It can be any color that you've got. Okay, so what I've started to do now is to start to develop um, this particular one. I like this idea and, and of these, this shape here. Um, against the contrast of the, the landscape, um, so the, the wall. But I flipped it around, so I'm still trying to use those shapes of the, the stones, okay? And I'm starting to use this as a shape, as a line that I'm gonna investigate. This is the bit that I'm gonna start to develop, okay? I've started to do a little one here. This is the wall, and this is the top of the wall, okay? And this will be parts of the landscape in the background. So I'm looking at Foreground, middle ground, background potentially. I've then started to develop a little bit more, bring some of the shapes from the previous ones because I like this shape where the shadows are cast. And actually it starts to be this bit here that I'm focusing on here, the, the, the negative space. The negative space lifts out the positive space. Okay, So this is my development now. This is going to be the process that I'm going to start to develop this particular idea. Okay, I might bring in some other things like I've bring in, brought these shapes in. Okay. So that's the process that I'm looking at. Okay, it's similar to the, what I've done before, but my focus has been a little bit more on the coolness, the coldness of the, the wall, and in particular, the dark spaces, so there's a high contrast. And now I'm focusing on this line, okay? Okay.